Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build a couple of these little item dispensers. So if you go in here, throw a box in there, go in there, throw a box in there, you see that both of these dispense items that come in through a storage situation. And one of them is a little bit faster. This is a little design that I came up with today that seems to work pretty well. And um, this is kind of the go-to standard design that you've seen me build a whole bunch. So I'm going to show you how exactly these work. I'm going to give you a little bit of a fly around so you can kind of get, you know, an idea of the redstone. Uh, a couple torches under there, well, it's doing that one. And this one's just got the redstone into the comparator. So the way that these work is that the comparator detects if there's a something in here and it can do so through a block. Then this one extends the signal and comes back over here to activate the dropper. Um, this one's a little bit different. It still detects a block the same way with the comparator, but then it'll actually turn off this repeater and this, which will actually activate the torch burnout. So this one activates a little bit faster than the other one, um, which is why you'd probably want to build uh, this one, but this one is actually more compact and you can fit it into more areas. So they're both really good little systems. I'm going to uh, show you how to build both of them here real quick. And they're super easy. Definitely the go-to methods if you're trying to dispense you know, items from one of your AFK farms into an item stream or into your storage si situation or something like that. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm in survival mode. You can see that all you need for the very first one is a comparator, repeater for redstone, and a dropper or a dispenser. I like to use droppers just because, you know, you never know, maybe some arrows or something is going to go through here. So you want it to be a dropper, um, unless you're doing something else. So what you want to do is you want to make a little bit of a corner like this with uh, that guy in the middle like so. And then build out a couple blocks. So we want one, two, and then on the third one you put a block up there. So you got a space of two and then four. Then you just do comparator repeater, redstone, 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 redstone. And this guy should be good to go. So we can throw blocks in here and it'll start shooting them out. So this is a pretty regular thing. So this will be good if you, um, you know, you're putting it into a hopper or something like that. You want the hopper to be able to keep up. Um, this is a great method to use. So that's the first one. Let's get going on the second one now. Okay, for the slightly faster method, we're going to put two blocks down to the side like this. You could do it on the other side. Block behind, block down like that. Let's put a comparator out of the block. And a block in front of there. Now into a torch instead of a repeater, like the other one. And then a couple pieces of redstone right here. Repeater there to extend the signal. And then under these two blocks, we're going to put torches. So there's that system done. Let's throw some blocks in there. You can see it's quite a bit faster than the other way. Oh yeah, this is working really well. I don't know why that other one was kind of lagging behind. This one seems to be working really, really, really well. So you can see that it's way faster than the other design. It's pretty cool. So you can see that you could even switch this dropper to be facing a different direction. Um, so it's pretty, you know, this one only has kind of like two op options. You can either, you know, have it facing that way or that way. And there's all this redstone and stuff. Um, so it's faster, but it's not as easy to compact it into a little spot. Whereas this one can be, you know, these blocks aren't even necessary. You could put it facing like this. Um, you could even put it facing downwards, like this. So there's this one is much more able able to be fit in like a bunch of different types of spots. Um, so it's a little bit more useful. But like I said, if you need something that's a little faster, then this is the design that you should go with. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for me for today. Uh, let me know if you like these little contraptions. They're super handy, especially the super fast one. This is going to come in handy for like mob farms and stuff like that, like a witch farm, whatever. Um, this should be able to keep up with, you know, a lot more items than the one on my left here. So anyway, um, that, yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for me for today. Leave a like if you thought it deserved it. I'd be much appreciated. And until next time, everybody, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So just to show you, let's put in some end crystals. Let's put in some iron. Some gold, diamonds, you get the idea. So everything that's not end crystals is gonna go into here. Everything that's an end crystal is gonna stack.